imagine how a plane crash simulation would help teams work better together? On the surface, it sounds like such a simulation would make even the best professional teams fall apart. But that's exactly what Dubai-based The Team Space is doing. They're helping teams prepare for the unexpected by pairing up with dynamic advanced training. Here with us is Andy Fieldhouse, the founder of The Team Space, to talk about how this works and how it can help build more cohesive teams. Andy, can you tell us a little bit about how this works? Yeah, so um, essentially we're going to throw teams into an unpredictable, uncertain environment which they're just not used to. As you can see, we've got these incredible um, simulators here and the idea is that they don't know what's going to happen, they don't know how to react and it simulates a lot of what is actually happening in the world today in terms of that uncertainty and unpredictability. And they're going to learn about how they deal with pressure, how they stay together, how do they communicate, all those things they need to do so that they can apply that back at work. So one of the things that we do is the first, you do probably three uh -huh. uh, um, flights. Nice flying business for once. I never get to fly business. See if you look out of the windows. Mountains, grass. You know you're not in Dubai because there's grass. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've seen teams learn from this? It's brand new, right? Yep. So not that many teams have gone through it, but so far, can you tell us what you've seen? Yeah, it's very realistic. Uh, I would say if you have a bit of a fear of flying, I'm, I would caution <laughs> jumping straight into the simulator. <laughs> but isn't it real? I mean, it does. Yeah, it feels very real. <laughs> oh! No! Oh. Quick, pull the masks. I've never actually had to do this. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. The main thing is is that is that newness and that unpredictability. Um, it, it feels very real for people. Um, there's smoke in the cabin. There's loud screaming on the speakers, and it's that. Oh, what do we do and how do we react? And, and we just don't know. This is still pretty, yeah. pretty mellow. Is, I mean, in terms of being in an airplane cabin full, filled with smoke. <laughs> and I think this is one of the mo most in important things about this, is it, 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 it simulates what really goes on with teams. How do we deal with this? COVID's come along, uncertainty. So that's one of the main things. Um, but there's also um, that we want to get through this, we, we want to succeed, how do we get people out? Um, and um, there's also a bit of fun as well. Uh, and also it's the wow factor. There's nothing like this in the UAE, there's nothing like this in the world really that you can get your teams into. Uh, okay, oh yes. Race, race, hands down, stay down. Evacuate. It does look quite fun. And you mentioned COVID-19 in there. Can you talk a little bit about, in your experience, how you've seen the pandemic change the challenges that teams encounter on the day to day? Yeah, you may pick up a little bit of noise in the background. I think that's some of the screaming going on. <laughs> um, it's, you know, obviously the pandemic is a, a once in a century event, let's hope. And um, I think teams have had to, had to react. Um, some of the stuff that I've seen has been a mix of, of breaking teams, but also building teams. Um, I did a survey where I found actually 35% of people who responded said that they, they had built trust through the pandemic. And I think that some teams um, have that kind of circling of the wagons mentality where they actually build stronger and they, and they can kind of pull together better and, and others have really struggled. And one of the big things I'm doing now with a lot of teams is just they haven't had time to work on their team. They've been so frantic dealing with everything in their team, getting on Zoom. And when, you, you know, when you're working virtually on Zoom, you, you're kind of just doing the work and you're not having the conversations. You're missing the organic opportunities to connect and build relationships. Those water cooler moments. Water cooler moments. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's a great opportunity now that people are kind of back in the room and, and what's next, whether it's hybrid or virtual or, or back in the workplace, is an opportunity to, to you know, take, take control of what's happening in your team. Mm -hmm. And this is just an, it's another type of simulator, really, as you All can right. see. And we can get people to get out of the door. You've crashed in the jungle. Um, and it's a little bit sort of jungle survivally. Again, it's, it's, uh, you can give them different team tasks in here, building shelters, dealing with casualties. Uh, watching out for spiders and things like that. Learning how to build a fire or yeah, what happens to... over there? And you said you're coach first, right? So, And you've been in the UAE now for 13 years. Yep. So can you talk a little bit about your coaching philosophy and what teams need to know to be their best version of yeah. themselves? I think the first thing is that um, 
that there is a coachable situation, there is, which is pretty much every team really, whether it's broken or ambitious or somewhere in between, or they're going through change, everything really, you know, they've got, they got a choice of trying to deal with it themselves or getting some help to, to fix what's going on or to improve what's, what's happening for them. And the coaching approach is the difference between trying to train someone or train a team and coaching is, is training is education and coaching is realization. They come to moments of powerful realization through the coaching process that allows them to have insight and awareness of, of what's going on. And I, I talk about a, a 5A approach to, to coaching, uh, awareness, being able to address what's going on, a, alignment around the things that they discover, um, which creates an action plan that they can hold themselves accountable to. And, and I think that's the difference between just, just doing normal team building and doing an experience like this, is we have that coaching conversation. You spend as much time doing that as you do, you know, being in the simulators, so that you, you know, the powerful lessons and the realizations you come to about how you react under pressure are debriefed, are discussed, and we, and we apply thinking around what are you gonna do differently as a team yourselves? Which leads into my next question. So teams come, they go through this for a day, and then you walk them through some coaching tips and you know things to bring back to the office. But realistically, can teams learn things in one day, or do they need more hands-on exposure to a coach after this to really you know address the issues that teams are facing? Yeah, I think the answer is twofold. One is do, do what you can with what you can. You know, and, and you know, can you coach virtually? Well, yes, you can if you have to, I think, as well. So with this experience, it's, it's, I would see it ideally as the introduction to a coaching journey. But if you can't afford the time or the money or anything else, then it's better than not doing anything. Um, and it is because it's high impact and because we apply the coaching conversation and you will walk away with concrete things that are going to steer your ship in a different direction, it, it has validity and it has longevity. But really, it's like if you're running a marathon, you don't go to a coach once to learn how to run a marathon. You go and he gives you things to do, you go away, you try it. You know, no plan survives contact with the enemy is what they say in the military. So your plan isn't perfect, it needs tweaking. Other things are gonna show up. It's gonna start the juices flowing within the team. Other realizations will come and that all needs work. And, and to make effective change happen really, especially if you've got a lot to work on, it really is a process that takes months uh, and regular visits every month, you know, with, with the coach to be able to, you know, make, make things really happen. Here is the simulator pool, as you can see. It looks like a calm day at the moment, but in a minute, the waves are gonna come, the rain's gonna hit, and you can see we have a life raft in here, and it's just about trying to survive in the ocean. Uh, and finally, can you just tell us a little bit about how this partnership between the team space and dynamic advanced training came about? Yeah, uh, thank you LinkedIn, basically. So, you know, it's a great business tool and we're all on there posting stuff. And uh, Mark uh, from Dynamic uh, approached me. He, he created um, this facility uh, with the team here and uh, he saw the opportunity or the, of putting corporate teams into this environment. Um, and he was looking for an, an expert in teams uh, and, and team building and team coaching and, and he found me by luck um, and reached out and, and we started a conversation and I think it's working for us because we have the same kind of values, we have the same attitude, the same passion around teams and, and, and development and learning uh, and as Mark says we are, we are looking for a win-win-win. You know, we're, uh, the team space wins, they win, and, and the people who come here win as well. And it's a, it's a real partnership of the three um, that's working, working really well. Well, I'm glad you guys found each other. It looks like an incredible experience. Thank you, Andy, for being here with us today. No problem. Now, would you like to have a go and get thrown around a little bit and see what it's all about? Absolutely. Are you a good swimmer? I am, actually. Okay, yeah, I'm a good swimmer. Okay. It's been a while since I've swam in teams, but... <laughs> Oh. You're in, you're in, you're in. Come on, pull, pull, pull. Oh! Had enough? You're in, you're in. Yes, go on. Way, well done. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.